What's up guys, this is Fracus. Um back with some more Rust modding. So first of all, like I said earlier, you need to download a text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. Um, go ahead and get a new file and then after that go to save as. Go ahead and make sure that you um go ahead and type out magma mod and then put um, JS at the end and save it as that. I already have one saved here. And it should look like this. After that, um you can we're gonna need a server first of all. I use FPS players and I'll show you how to when, once you get your server set up, I'm just gonna touch touch with this briefly because there's so many tutorials on how to do it. So you wanna go to mod manager. Um download magma. Right now it's version 1.15. 1 um by the time when you're watching this it may be something different, but same thing, just install. Go to your file manager, go to magma folder. You get a new folder, name it um, the name of your mod. So in our case, we're doing Magma Mod as the name of the plugin. And it's right here. You can go to Upload, find where the, uh, the plugin is right here. This is mine. And I've already uploaded mine here. So you have Magma Mod.js. Also, like I was saying before, there's the, uh, the JetBrains.peak. Jet, JetBrains.peak. Um, and it pretty much shows you all everything that you can use and here it is right here and that, that just go by what that tutorial says it's pretty straightforward and for example if you want to access player and you want to know how to, how to access their name you can see that you do player and then name and I'll show you how to do that later alright so that's a good tool to have so make sure you have that let's go back to here okay so here we have um there's a thing called hooks, right? And here's from Alpha again. We're gonna do something simple like on player connected, on player spawned. So we're gonna we're gonna use this hook right here, right here. So go ahead and make sure you type this out. Make sure your um, your brackets are just like they are here. And what this does is it's a hook and it's just sitting there waiting for um, for a player to spawn. And once they do. Um, and this right here is an object. Um, it pretty much it's it holds all the information about that player that just spawned. So like I was showing before, you can get the name, right? Player dot name. So we're gonna do um, player dot message, and all this does is send a, a message to the bottom. Player dot message. Um, welcome to uh, Magma Mod. We'll, we'll get their name player dot name. So what we're doing here, we're calling for uh, we're using the, the hook on player spawn. We're getting the player object. We're using that object to send them a message. We're gonna say welcome to Magma Mod and player name. So go to save. So go ahead and save it. Go to your control panel where with your server host. And if there's a if there's one already there, go ahead and delete it. If there's a file there, go ahead and delete it. Upload the new version. Okay, it's uploaded. Now in Rust, you need to make sure you're you're logged in. And it's reloaded now. Okay. So player spawned. So what I need to do is Okay. So we're gonna look at the bottom left. Okay, so what happened was welcome to Magma Mod Hero Fracas, and that's that's just my name. That's pretty much what we just did, right? Welcome to Magma Mod player name. That's that's how this works, and it's a very simple, um, it's very very simple plugin. And we'll be going over more advanced stuff in the future, like how to read values from config files, or how to save data to the data store, stuff of that sort. How to give players kits, and all you know, all the fun stuff. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, I explained everything thoroughly. And if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope I'll see you in the next video.